Howdy, howdy. Yeah, we're building the Maxter today, which should be a lot of fun, ideally. Um, because I love G Gundam, so I have to I have to build these ones. Alright, let's build some peak. Let's build some fucking peak chat room. It's even got the effect for machine gun punch. That's hype. And it comes with its own action base, just like the Rose Gundam did. No, we gotta cover up his titties already? This is so sad. There's our boy. And there's our boy, Nude Edition. All right, we finished his head. Look, he's a football man, chat room. Listen here, camera, you will autofocus. So help me God. Maybe if I bap the camera, it'll autofocus. There we go. He's a football man. Oh, is today Super Bowl Sunday? All right, that's the shoulders done. Dear camera, please autofocus. Look at our beautiful football man.
Check this out, chat room. It's our boy. First build was the old OG Death Scythe. Oh shit, that's dope. There's our man. Our little man. Oh, you can put the surfboard on the- wait, that's fucking cool. Wait, that's really cool. Hold on. I gotta try this. Look at our boy! Look at him go! <laughs> this is so cool! So, we just finished building. The brand new high grade Gundam Maxter. Uh, this is the the second high grade G Gundam kit to come out. Uh, third recent G Gundam kit if we count the RG God Gundam. Um, the first one of these high grades to come out was the Gundam Rose. And if you saw my video on that, then you know that I really, really enjoyed the Gundam Rose and the Gundam Maxter is honestly up there with me as well. I've always adored the Maxter's design as like a boxing Gundam, and I think they did it really well. They've got the bursting machine gun punch effect, they've got its ability to transform into boxer mode, and they even included its surfboard that you can balance on a stand. It's very cool. Something these high grades uh, for the G Gundam ones that have been coming out recently is they do a great job of like capturing the suit's like gimmicks and abilities, whether it be the Rose Bits with the Rose Gundam or the Boxing with the Gundam Maxter. Makes me really excited to see what they end up doing with like the flags from the uh, Dragon Gundam or the Ball and Chain from the Russian Gundam that I can't remember, the Bolt Gundam, or who am I missing? Or if they end up doing a high grade of um, the God Gundam. But uh, overall, this is a very cool kit. I, I highly recommend it. They've been doing a lot of reprints on P Bandai. I do think at as of time of recording, it is available to order, um, which is exciting. I, I would recommend this kit. It's very cool. I'm excited to display this with my Rose Gundam and my RG God Gundam. And thank you all for watching. I build Gundam every Sunday, so tune in. <laughs> all right, there's my... There's my build of the Maxter. It's very cool. I like this kit. They did a good job. I was worried after the Rose. I was like, this is really good. I hope they don't phone in the other ones. And they really didn't with the Maxter. Um, I think they... And the Maxter, like, is a pretty basic design. It just punches. And I think they captured the Maxter really, really well. I'm very impressed. 